Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to talk about how to figure out what boards to make on Pinterest for digital product sellers. And we've covered, we've gone over the hump now that we know how to make pins. Now we're to the way easier part of being a digital product seller. Um, and I know this because I get about a thousand hits from Pinterest a month on my Etsy shop for digital products, which is amazing. That's wonderful. So we're going to take a peek first at my shop and it's paperly people. So I have different kinds of planners. So I have planners, right? Just a general business calendar kit planner. And then I have author planners and direct sales planners and real estate planners. And I have inventory sheets for Etsy sellers and things for realtors and then some internet marketing stuff. And so time management, right? Coaching, SEO, Etsy SEO, regular Etsy, regular SEO, more direct sales, time management, um, blogging, okay? So as a digital product seller, the beauty of all of this is after I make the thing, there's nothing hard about promoting it, making boards for it, doing all that. All of it is... Um, the more you do of this, the more gravy you're going to get in your business because you don't have the cost of fulfillment. You don't have the cost of production. You don't have all of that. So let's talk about uh, having a board first for your shop or all of your products. So I do have a Marketing Artfully board, and I also have a Paperly People board. I have two accounts for that I can, two whole Pinterest accounts that I can post this on. Um, the paperly one is just for paperly products, and then this is for all of the products and um, blog posts I make and things like that. So I have an overall board, but let's talk about what Pinterest likes. If I were to pin a real estate planner to my marketing artfully board that has real estate and direct sales and authors and Etsy and eBay and all those things, then it would confuse Pinterest, right? I would want, if I'm going to be posting, pinning my very first pin, because we're going to share it to all the different boards, but the first time you pin it, I would pin a real estate planner to a real estate board or to a planner board. I would pin my direct sales planner either to a planner board or to my direct sales board, not to my kind of mishmashy um, shop board that has all different kinds of products. So hopefully that's understandable. If you have any questions about that, leave it below. But now let's get back to what we're going to do. So it's so funny when they make boards, they put it right at the top. So um, usually my first board is my marketing art fully board with all of that. And then I have Etsy marketing, Pinterest marketing, paper crafts, real estate marketing. Okay, so I can put my real estate planner on my real estate marketing board. I could put it on my paperly people board. I just share those boards between my two accounts so I don't have to log into paperly people. See how it's half paperly people, half Tara. So I already have two boards, I could put three boards I could put my real estate planner on. Marketing Artfully, Real Estate Marketing, um, Paperly People, um, ba, 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 ba. Productivity and Time Management. I could probably put my planner on there. There's a direct sales board that I could put my planner, my direct sales planner on. Time management, you see all my planner printables on there. Planner Mania is a great board. I have a lot of followers on that one. I have 7,000 followers on that one. So because people like planners, I can put my planners on there. Um, let's see, time management. Let's see how many I have on there. I only have 1,100 followers on there because less people are interested in time management than in the planner. So you'll find that some of your boards do better. So as you get going and you find out some of your boards are more popular than others, you would want to pin your first pin of your um, product, your digital product, to the board on Pinterest that has the most followers, that has the most engagement, that gets the most repins, that does all that. We'll talk about that later in the class. Okay, so there's another real estate marketing one that I share with one of my besties, so I could put it on there. 
I could. Planners and journaling. There's another planner board. Just a normal DIY planner ideas. I can put it on there. So literally for a planner, and we could keep going. I could put that on seven to 10 boards easily. So, cause I can put it on all the real estate related boards and then I can put it on all the planner boards, right? For direct sales, I would have a few less. I think I only have two direct sale boards and then all the planner boards, maybe all the time management board, my shop board, all of that. I would like you as a digital product seller because your problem isn't time with fulfillment. Your time, your problem is marketing. I would like most of the gals, I've told them three to five boards. I would love you to have five to 10 different boards you can post your products to as a digital product seller. So that's a really good one to show you real life examples about how to do like planners. But let's do something from just out of the the ether um, that I don't know so much about. Because sometimes when I know a lot about something, I don't remember to tell you all the steps. So I'm going to tell you all the steps of how to figure out where to put something. And I, I picked this because it's back to school time. My kids just went back to school. I'm so happy. So happy. So this person is selling 250 instant downloads of these really cool, um, you know, back to school designs. And right now, what I love about this is she is featuring these two on the top of her featured items in her Etsy store. She also has, it looks like um, really cute. Like you would, if you're going to buy somebody a trip somewhere, you would make them a, um, like a download to put in there. It seemed like a really cute store. I loved it. Um, but so let's talk about if we were trying to create Pinterest boards for this. So first off, she would have a Pinterest board for her designs, right? Obviously everybody has their own shop board, but then this pin would go to back to school first. Like I would pin this to back to school. Now we're going to go to Pinterest and we don't want it to just be a back to school board. What we want to know what's going to be the best option to name our board that is related to products, right? So not just back to school, because that could be almost anything. That could be anything. We want it to be back to school supplies, back to school theme. Let's see what back to school theme is. Uh, Back to school printables. Back to school printables. These are free, but let's see what's going on. Etsy. Okay, so we have an Etsy. Back to school crafts. Now, why would you pick back to school theme rather than back to school products, back to school something like that? So you're going to have a lot of competition as a back to school seller, because it's a huge, obviously, thing. Um, but if back to school theme is number four on Pinterest and there are e commerce products on it, I would almost have a board that is back to school theme um, just because I would have a better chance at being in the competition, my board ranking well and getting lots of followers and things like that. Obviously, back to school supplies. I feel like that's going to be a lot of office supplies. Let's see if there's any of those um, chalkboards, posters, things like that. Uh, back to school supply sale cheat sheet. That's a printable. I don't know if I feel like it doesn't cost you anything. Like make a back to school supplies board and put your stuff on there. And then other people's stuff, right? So I would make a, a back to school printables board and put my printables on there, right? Just no questions asked, back to school printables. There they are, 20, 20 awesome back to school printables. And you may be freaking out thinking, but those some of those are free, mine is paid, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of people that would rather pay 250 for something then to have to worry about, is this big enough? Is it going to print right? Is it going to do all that? Like when you have 15, not that this has ever happened to me, 
when you have 15 minutes to get out the door and get that dang thing printed so that you can get the back to school picture and they can get to school on time, you want to make sure whatever you're doing works right, right? Um, so then you have all these under signs, back to school printable signs, um, first day, right? And so you may say first day of school printables, right? You can't have too many boards that match your products. Now, would I have five back to school boards if I had a lot of back to school products? Heck yeah, but maybe not. So, what? So, so this is a printable gift certificate. So, let's see what this says printable, printable gift certificate. So printable gift certificate. So we have template, birthday for men, for kids. So that uh, that could be a printable gift certificate for birthday, right? So if you're going to give somebody a trip for their birthday, I might make a printable gift certificate for birthdays, right? And it doesn't, hers is much nicer than these. I would do that. You're going to put other people's stuff on your boards. And this may freak you out that you would have other people's printables on your boards. But what you want Pinterest to understand is that every time you pin a pin to that board, it's about that product, category, topic, things like that. Another thing she could do would be to make a board for travel gifts. Ooh, that's a good one, right? Um, so travel gifts ideas, perfect. So I would have a travel gifts ideas. I know that sounds grammatically incorrect, but then I would put eco-friendly travel gifts. I would put my gift certificate. I would put blog posts. I would put find really cool other things on Etsy or other things on whatever site you're selling on. And it seems really an antithetical, sorry. Um, it really seems weird to, to promote other people's products, but you're, you're promoting your board so that Pinterest knows that it should suggest items from that board to people who have that same interest, right? So if somebody's looking up a whole bunch of travel gifts, like say they're giving their daughter a um, travel gift for Christmas. You're looking at, um, you know, laptop chargers. You're looking at curling irons that can work overseas. You're looking at gift certificate printables to, to give them the, the gift. You're doing all those things. So that's what you want to be thinking of is that your board should be interesting and have other e-commerce products on it so that when you list your printable on there, it makes sense to Pinterest and then it associates it with your Etsy shop or your um, wherever you sell your printables. So hopefully that helps. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up. That does really help. And if you like videos about creativity and selling e-commerce and Pinterest, things like that, please make sure to subscribe. Tara Jacobson. Marketing Earthly.